Hi everyone, this is Brio Boy 2009 coming to you from the Dadeland North Metro Rail Station. That was a green line train. I've got to take the orange line train to Government Center, then at Government Center I will transfer to the Metro Mover. I've just been informed by the station announcer that our train is coming on this platform and we'll be taking it to Government Center. Once there, we will transfer to the Metro Mover to School Board. So this here is the control cabin. Well, this is the control cabin. You don't get these kinds of views very often. I have not been on this train for quite a long time. And so here is some food that a cast member left behind. Well, the train's starting moving, so I'd better sit down. There's a view out the station as we make our way south. I mean north, because this is a northbound train. Let's hope that we're going the right way. Next station is South Miami. Yes, we are going the right way. Please check your area and take all personal belongings with you before exiting the train. Thank you. If you haven't figured it out already, the train I am riding on is the Miami-Dade County Metro Rail, or as I like to call it simply, the train because it's the only train that I ride. I know that I usually cover toy trains on this channel, but I do like to do Brios every now and then. The last time I rode this train was in 2018, so it's refreshing to ride it again. I have no idea if you guys can hear me over the noise that the train is making. But if you can, that's great. Coming into view is the South Miami Hospital, and we should be pulling into the station any minute. Track means the station is coming up. Now approaching South Miami. So this here is South Miami. I boarded at Dadeland North. And it does say something about trains going to Douglas Road. Couldn't make it out though. So here we have some signs, and over here are the, whatever you call these things, the hold on tight please gadgets. Why does this always happen to me? let you guys enjoy. University. So our next stop is the University of Miami. Let's see what's going on on the other side of the train. You guys enjoy the rest of the ride. What a coincidence! The colors of the University of Miami are orange and green, and the Metro Rail lines are also orange and green. If I were a student at the University of Miami, I'd probably be deboarding by now. 
Looks like there's nobody getting on the train. The station is not very busy. We're on the move again from university, and the next stop is... I don't really know what the next stop is. Oh look, there's another train. Tell me on the speakers though. So yeah, I don't need to worry about that. Looks like I saw some people working on the tracks. So the next stop is Douglas Road. I just saw that on one of the on one of the maps. Also, this right here is a map of the whole system. I've been informed that it even has its own generators. The station, the service goes as far as Dayland, as far south as Dayland South, and as far north as Palmetto. That tri-rail sign you see is the tri-rail transfer station. It doesn't really serve any municipal zones, but it is the site that I filmed my tri-rail 811 video. You know, the don't you dare blow that horn boy video. That's the one that was filmed at that station. I won't be going as far as that station though. I almost fell over because of the jolts that the train makes. Hey, I see that the station's floor has... Oh, never mind. Looks like there's gonna be quite some people getting on board. And another train. Folks, I'll tell you, these new Hitachi trains are a big step up from the old Bud trains, although the Bud ones were very nostalgic. But hey, old things can make a comeback as we did see with another video from another YouTuber. But sadly, the Buds are no longer in revenue service and have always been replaced. They've all been replaced by these newer Hitachi trains. And I really like the paint scheme on them too. We're now rounding a curve over the city streets. Coconut Grove Station. I never really get off at any of these stations. I just make the trip towards Government Center, which is what I'm going to be doing today. And I'll likely make a separate video on the Metro Mover, which is the free train that goes through downtown. Is. 
Good to know. As you can probably tell, this is a very clean train. Except for this. But yeah, the train is very clean. It's got a lot of air conditioning, so you might want to wear a jacket when you ride this thing. It's also very fast, very clean. It runs on electricity. Yep, that, that's how fast the thing goes. And it's got great views. If you can just see over the trees, oh, never mind. You'll see it eventually. The city skylines are in the distance, and they're pretty beautiful. This thing is also very noisy, if you couldn't tell. So you might want to turn down your volume for the rest of the ride, because it's probably going to be very noisy. Oh look, there's a plane up there. Oh nice. Step into the magic. If you're watching this, this is a reference to you. Keep up the good work. Taking it easy, slowing down on the approach to the station. Vizcaya, I think, was the next stop. Vizcaya. Right, Vizcaya. Service by both the orange line and the green line. And we just stopped. There go the doors. And the doors have now closed because nobody has gotten on the train. And here we go again. Look at this beautiful view as we're going on the train. You can see the other railway line. And here's a look at the inside of the train. Next the next station is Brickle. That's two more stops till I go. Look at all these people on the train. I wonder where everybody's going to. Perhaps some other people could be getting at this stop. I really like watching the city go by. Perhaps I should move to the other side of the train to get a better view. Either I told you it was going to be cold. Now we're going on the ground railroad tracks, which I think were once property of CSX, I think. I'll move over here so that you can, whoa, sorry, sorry about that. So you can get a better view of these railroad tracks. So now the line has branched up into three tracks. We're going under a bridge. And another one. Look at that big building there. Now we're leaving what I like to call the ballasted section of the Metro Rail Railroad line. And now we're going back to the elevated subway lines. Or should I say overways, because this isn't a subway. Well, of course, since Florida is a literal swamp, they can't have a subway. So instead they built this. There's the Metro Mover Station. And I guess we're now in the city. So this here is Brickle. So this train is going as far as Miami International Airport, and the green line is going to Dayland South. I'm on the orange line, if you couldn't tell. Looks like some people are getting on the train. Welcome aboard, folks, you're on camera. Oh, and all you great passengers there too on that other train, you're on camera as well. Oh 
look at those. Gee, I wonder what the next stop will be. Looks like the trolley has broken down. That's my stop. Look at that, I just saw a building with blue and green on it, just like the Oakwood Hotel. Here we go, crossing over the Miami River. Ahoy there, boats. That's the good old drawbridge. Looks like they're doing some construction here. I wonder what. Look at those highways down below. And I also see the Metro Mover tracks. And speaking of the Metro Mover, that is where I'm going to be transferring. I'm going to be ending the video right here. And I'm going to see you guys when I get on board the Metro Mover. I'll be filming that in a separate video, if you couldn't tell. So yeah, that was my ride from Dadeland North to Government Center. I'll see you all next time on Brio Boy 2009. And remember, keep your friends close and your trains closer. One more shot of the train leaving the station before we go. And as Action Kid would say, bye everyone, take it easy. As I would say, keep your friends close and your trains closer. And any form of public transit too for that matter. Stay safe everyone.